another day, another trip. Uh, today we're going to uh, Tbilisi. Uh, we're leaving Tubu or something like that. And um, as Charlotte finished packing, I talk to you. And we're heading first to a place where we were told that there's a Russian guy that has a tea and wine plantation in the same place. So it's not Russian. He speaks Russian. It's not Russian. And we're gonna, well, talk to him might be complicated, but at least take some pictures of it. So we're gonna hit the road, which in this place is always cool. And as I say this, look at that car. Can you see that front completely destroyed? Large majority of Georgian cars exactly like that. And funny enough, the um, sh car shops here, a lot of them just sell front bumpers. It's nice. As sweet as this is, she's being very, very sweet, but we're not being able to communicate, <laughs> and we think that she doesn't see very well because we're trying to like show her, or she can't read. So one of the two possibilities, because we're not being able neither to show her the map to see that, to explain that we want to see her plantation. Neither we're being able to translate into Georgian uh, using Google. So. I think we're gonna have to say thank you very much to this very very kind lady but we're gonna have to leave this place uh, without the tea success high success uh, we managed to uh, to communicate Charlotte is the queen of charades and uh, gonna be able to take some pictures of a plantation of tea and wine all together in the same place which is what I keep on saying that they managed to grow together in the same place, and they. Yes, yes. Can we go here? Okay. Go on, go on, Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was perfect. Yes, yes. <laughs> you hugged. They hugged. Then all when she understood what we wanted. I want. I want to give her something. Hi. You know that I try. Hi, Vino. Oh. Can, can, can I? Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, excitement! Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. Look at this. Like it's tea over there and wine here and oh. She's very happy. Super very exciting pretty. day. Very pretty. Look at that. Mm, wow. Very nice. Tea, wine here and tea over there. Beautifully, beautifully planted. We cannot communicate much further with the lady. It was like took us almost 45 minutes just to get here, but this is exactly what I mean. You can see a uh, vineyard right here, small vineyard, but it is here and they pick in uh, October, so there's no wine right now. And right next door, a tea plantation. And beautiful tea plantation, to be honest, one of the most pretty ones I've seen so far. Proper rows to be picked, small, low size, at least this part all new, this part a little bit older, but very well trimmed, very well taken care of. The vineyard, again, very well taken care of. And as I showed you in other episodes, it's already starting to bloom and super pretty. Look at the colors of this, like super nice, super pretty. Oh, I'm so excited. This is the most exciting day of the trip so far, because if I wanted to see tea and wine, that's it. And if you look over there, there's more vineyards up there and right here next to the wine. If it wasn't for the fences, this would be the best pictures ever, but even like this, <sighs> exciting, exciting, very exciting. Am I excited? Are you excited? Everyone's excited. Even the lady got excited when she understood what we wanted, which was just pictures of her backyard. I don't think I've ever in my life asked someone, can I go in your backyard to take pictures? 
and we got some toffees. And I don't think she ever was asked because she was very surprised with all of this. Oh yeah, yeah, I think this is gonna be a story for years. But she <laughs> eventually let us go to the backyard. The footage you'll you see or you will see. I don't know how I'm gonna edit this, but very excited. Now we're gonna go back on some very troubling off-road uh, roads. Uh, all the way to the main road so we can drive the 300 kilometers we're left to Tulis. So let's jump on the road. I don't know like uh, if uh, the sound is anything good. You can see the Caucasus Mountains up there with snow. You can see this beautiful surrounding around here. We had to stop because Charlotte's bags came loose with the shaking. We've been doing a lot of off-road today. And we think that's how it's gonna continue because we want to avoid the major highways. But this is super pretty. Let me show you around. Cannot, there's not even enough light for me to show you around. My friends, uh, I hate cities. <laughs> 